I've been working as a data analyst for the past year and there has been a lot of growth moments and benefits from the job, like working remote and having a competitive salary. While it may be glamorous on the outside and a desirable career, I feel like it's important to shed some light on the reasons why you shouldn't become a data analyst. One of the biggest reasons why you shouldn't become a data analyst is because that you're just not that interested in writing code, in writing the SQL scripts, and developing the dashboards, or doing the data validation. And while that's an obvious reason, I say that because I feel like anyone can learn these technical skills, but not everyone is interested in writing code. So if you become a data analyst and you're just not that interested in those subjects, naturally you're not going to be putting in the time to get better at your job and get better at being a data analyst for example i feel like anyone can cook while reading a simple recipe but not everyone's going to be a good cook because those people who are good cooks are putting the extra time they love cooking they're putting in the reps they're practicing and developing that sense of taste in order to become good than those who just read off recipes time and time and again. Me personally, I have an interest in developing these dashboards and giving a product to my business stakeholders and I get some fulfillment when the business stakeholders are happy with what I give them. So if you're not interested in technical things such as writing code, writing SQL scripts, developing dashboards, using data visualization tools, then a data analyst might not be best for you. So another reason why you shouldn't become a data analyst is that you're not a self learner. A lot of the times in my job, I might not know a certain skill set or have a deep level of understanding to complete a portion of the project. And a lot of the times my teammates and my coworkers aren't available to answer some of the questions that I might have or also have a 30 minute meeting block to walk me through a certain skill set, as they're also very busy. Especially in the tech industry, it's very important that you're comfortable teaching yourself things that you don't know. Whether it's Googling certain topics or watching YouTube tutorial videos online. Google and YouTube are my best friends because I'm spending a lot of time on these sites either building a skill that I'm kind of weak on or teaching myself things that I don't know but I need to know in order to complete a project. However, if you find it better having an instructor or someone walking you through these certain subjects, it might be best to reconsider how you learn. As a data analyst, it's very important to teach yourself things that you might not know on the job. Being a data analyst can be challenging, especially when things that are out of your control pop up time and time again. For example, not having access to that data stream to further work on your project or data validation is taking more time than you originally thought. It is during these times that patience is required. A lot of times in my job when things that are out of my control pop up and it's taking more time than usual, I can get really frustrated. But after a year working as a data analyst, I learned how to be patient. I learned how to take the time, really take the time in front of the computer, working through these problems and really figuring it out. So if you're that type of person who can't really sit in front of the computer hours out of the day, completing a project, figuring out those problems, then this is something you should really think about when becoming a data analyst. In data analytics, there are a lot of problems that do arise on the job. And like I said before, your teammates or your coworkers might not be available to help you problem solve or kind of walk you through how to solve a problem. That being said, it is expected of you to problem solve on the job. There have been countless times where the numbers aren't appearing correctly on the dashboard or the relationships in my data model aren't set up correctly. So that's having an impact on the dashboard. So I'll have to put in the time in order to figure out what's causing those problems. It might be similar to guessing and checking, but I have to be a little bit more sophisticated than that. If it's a data issue and the numbers aren't 
showing up correctly on the dashboard. It might be a data validation issue or it might be something wrong with the native query. It might not have to do anything with the data visualization tool itself. Those are some of the things that I have to think about, that I have to think critically in order to eliminate some of the causes and figure out the root of the problem. If you're someone who likes their job outlined for you already and just having it step by step for you, then being a data analyst might be difficult for you as a lot of times you are figuring out how to solve a problem or figuring out why this isn't working. So those are some of the things you will need to think about. One of the most important aspects of being a data analyst, especially in my team, is communication. I used to think that being a data analyst would consist of solely individual work. And while that is somewhat true, a bulk of my time is actually having meetings with my team lead to discuss about our approach to develop a certain dashboard. So during these meetings, we would discuss my approach on how to develop a specific dashboard and she would discuss her approach and we would come up with a game plan and a timeline of when we should expect to complete the dashboard. Over the past year, I learned how important it is to communicate and especially for me since I'm fully remote, it's more important that I over communicate to my team members, my team lead, my manager of whether it's a query that I'm changing or a specific problem that I'm just not sure of, I can just reach out to them letting them know, hey, I'm changing this or I'm not sure of this, can you help me on this? Just communicating and over communicating is very important. So if you're a person that is uncomfortable with communicating and working with the team, then this is a point that you should really think about when becoming a data analyst because it's really important to be efficient with communicating and just really letting people know what you're doing. And that's it. That's just a couple of reasons why you shouldn't become a data analyst. And I'm not saying these reasons to discourage you as I think anyone should give it a try. I just say these reasons to be realistic and for you to rule out any of these reasons that may apply to you and for you to be a good fit. I know that you know doing a career change or you know you just graduated college and you're figuring out your career is a big step in your life so I wanted to make sure that you guys are making the right decision when choosing um, this career or any other career. But yeah, but that's it. Thanks for watching. If you watched up until this point, I appreciate you very much. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer any of them or any video suggestions. I'd love to hear it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.